So I'm not sure what I can actually add to the whole, I'm just not completely down with emoting, you know? Like this feels a bit dickish. Sorry. Fuck it. So basically, I was in my dad's kitchen making a cheese sandwich and then all of a sudden, this guy, still in his airline chair, just crashed into the garden. Whee! Well, like a cartoon. A really fucking dark Tim Burton cartoon or something. And I, for the first couple of seconds, he was alive. And then he, he wasn't. And I'm a twat and I'll feel guilty for this for the whole of my life. But the first thing I just thought was that song. It's raining men. Sorry. And I was just staring at the chair guy like this. He looked up at me and he caught my eye for a moment. And then he just died. The light just went out quietly and softly. And the thing is, he, he just looks so kind. And Cherry, the man who fell to earth, well, his name was actually Sunny Mir. Sunny Mir, which is such an awesome name. He was 47 and um, he was a doctor from High Barnet. So um, the passengers from BU21 fell from 4,500 feet. It's totally unsurvivable. Unless of course you land in deep snow and you're like miraculously freakishly lucky. So there was nothing I could have done, even if I was a doctor or an ambulance guy, not just a gormless idiot holding a cheese sandwich. You know something? According to the medical guy at the inquest, about 70% of the passengers were alive and conscious as they fell 4,500 feet through the air. I looked that up on the internet, how long a, a fall from 4,500 feet takes. About 22 seconds. And I keep wondering what was going through Sonny's mind on the way down. I keep timing myself 22 seconds, like five times a day obsessively. And I try to reconcile myself with death in 22 seconds, but turns out I just run out of things to say after 12. What do I do for the other 10? Do I just go wee and enjoy the ride? Sorry, it was, it was actually kind of worse than I was letting on. It was fucking terrifying. It was mental. And I mean, actually mental.